How we doing, Zigger Nation? Let's go ahead and check out the headlines that moved the stock market this week. Like always, guys, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe below so you guys can be notified the moment we go live right here on Benzinga's YouTube. All right, first up, we have Alphabet reported fourth quarter and full fiscal year earnings after the market closed Tuesday. Here are the key details for investors. Alphabet reported fourth quarter revenues of $75.3 billion, up 32% year over year. The total came in ahead of the estimate of $72.1 billion, according to Benzinga Pro. Alphabet reported fourth quarter earnings per share of $30.69, beating an estimate of $27.48. Also, Alphabet announced a 20 for 1 stock split. So let's go ahead, let's get and see what happens with Google. All right, let's go ahead, let's get into Meta now. We're gonna talk about their reported fourth quarter and full fiscal financial results after the market closed Wednesday. Meta platforms reported fourth quarter revenues of 33.67 billion, which beat an estimate of 33.38 billion. Quarterly revenue was up 20% year over year. The company reported earnings per share of $3.67, missing estimate of $3.84. Meta reported 2.9 billion monthly active users for Facebook. Daily active users were 1.93 billion that ended up the year up 5%. Let's go ahead and now let's dive into the number eight spot here. Let's get into AMD here. Uh, AMD here results Tuesday that exceeded expectations on all metrics. The company issued an upbeat forecast for the March quarter as well as the fiscal year 2022 and the ramping of existing products and launch of next gen product planned for next year. AMD's key quarter four numbers per share here of 92 cents per share, up 77% year over year. Revenues climbed to 49% year over year to 4.826 billion, beating the guidance of 4.5 billion. Each of our businesses performed well and with the data center revenues doubling year over year, driven by growth adoption in AMD's EPYC processors across cloud and enterprise customers, said President and CEO, Dr. Lisa Su. Let's go ahead, let's get into Amazon's earnings here. Amazon getting a little volatile after their earnings. Here are the numbers. They adjusted were $5.80 versus the $3.50 expected. Revenues were at $137 cents. Uh, 137.4 billion versus 137 expected. AWS was at 117, uh, 17.8 billion versus 17.37 billion expected. Also, of course, they raised their prime rates, so definitely check that out. Let's go ahead, let's dive into, we're, now we're gonna get into Spotify. Of course, their earnings came out after dealing with, of course, the, deal, the issues with Joe Rogan. Spotify reported here, fourth quarter revenues of $2.69, uh, 2.69 billion, which was up to 24% year over year. The company reported monthly active users at the end of the fiscal year of 406 million. Premium subscribers were at 180 million, up 16% year over year. Let's get into Snap now. Shares soaring after hours and reported fourth quarter and full year of 2021 results. This Snap reported 1.3 billion, which beat the 1.2 billion estimate. The company reported quarterly adjusted earnings of 22 cents per share, which more than doubled the estimate there of 10 cents per share global daily active users do totaled 319 million in the fourth quarter representing 20 percent year-over-year -year increase snap highlighted the year-over-year -year growth in das by 20 percent or more of five consecutive quarters now let's go ahead let's dive into ford now ford shares slide after the fourth quarter missed here, significantly missed Wall Street's earnings expectations and slightly missed on revenues. Adjusted EPS was at 26 cents versus 45 cents expected. Automotive revenues at 35.3 billion versus a 35.5 billion expected. While the automaker hits its annual earnings guidance for 2021, it missed production targets 
the analysts were expecting due to supply chain problems, including an ongoing shortage of semiconductor chips, Ford CFO John Lawyer told media during the call Thursday. All right, the U.S. of House representative formally attached the marijuana banking reform amendment to a large-scale bail dealing with innovation manufacturing and marking the most recent development in the push to protect financial institutions that work with state legal cannabis business. So what's up next is you advocates will need to wait to see whether America completes the act with the now attached secured and fair enforcement safe banking act, which will have actually be passed in the house on friday when the final vote is expected this brings us to our number two event bitcoin ethereum and dogecoin go flat all coins disappoint why is it moving is fears of rising inflation that sent bond yields spiraling globally have led to the consolidation of the apex coin below the forty thousand level according to on the senior market analyst edward moya Yields of short-term U.S. government bonds are, rap are rising rapidly in 2022 on the back of expectations of the incoming rate hikes by the Federal Reserve. On the other hand, the longer maturity papers have seen yields move and the slower pace on the fields on fears that such rate hikes could hurt the economy. Here's the number one event here. We're going to talk about, of course, the jobs number trading lower. Uh, the U.S. added 467,000 jobs in January, beating the consensus of the ec economist estimate of 150,000. The U.S. unemployment rate ticked higher to 4% from 3.9. The labor participation rate was unchanged at 62.2%, slightly below its 63.4% pandemic rate in February. Wage growth was at 57% up, uh, up from 4.7% in December. The Labor Department also revised November's totals and December's job growth. That's going to do it for the top 10 here. Stocks that gave you the headlines, guys. So what did you guys think about this? We'll keep working to improve it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Definitely check it on out in the description below. If you guys want to check out any of these articles to go ahead and get a deeper dive. Like always, we'll see you back next week right here on Benzinga's YouTube. Like always, hit the like, and I'll see you guys next time. Money Mitch.